I always get asked, what do I want to be when I grow up? Sometimes I want to be an astronaut, sometimes a doctor. Just yesterday, I decided I wanted to develop mobile apps. Most times, I just give an answer that'll sound good to whoever's asking. Honestly, I have no idea. That's because most of the jobs that will exist when I'm 20 don't even exist today. All I know is that I want to change the world and make it a better place. Things around me are changing so fast. There are so many options out there. I need to learn how to solve complex problems, write a business plan, develop lines of code, and maybe even create a cool video like the one you're watching. This is why our schools here in California have adopted new state educational standards. These standards were developed by educators to make sure that all students, like me, graduate from high school with the skills and knowledge necessary to succeed in college, career, and in the world, no matter where I move to or what I plan to do. These days, I'm not just competing with students in California, I'm competing with students all over the world, and I want to be prepared for that challenge. Did you know that almost all of the things we do in school now involve some kind of modern technology? Even testing. Last school year, I took the Smarter Balance Assessment Test entirely on a computer. And that's pretty cool. You see, it's adaptive, meaning it changes based on how well or poorly I'm doing. It also tells me what skills I need to brush up on. It's easy to understand, it works, and I kind of like it. Before, and you'll remember this one, we used to get a paper with a bunch of bubbles on it, a number two pencil, and a test booklet, and every student would get the same questions. Now, we take our tests on a computer, and each student sees different questions that are matched to our level of understanding. Before, my only options were A, B, C, and D. Now, it's much more interactive. I get to answer multiple choice questions, fill in blanks, and even construct written responses. Before, my test results would be a number score or a percentile. Now, the results are more specific to me. They tell us how well I solved different problems, what I struggled with, what areas I need to improve on, and where I really succeeded. So, why is this important? The first thing you should know about the test is that it's aligned with the California state standards, as well as other college assessment tests. Don't be intimidated by the score sheet. My score will fall into one of four levels. Remember, it's a new test, so there's a new scoring system. And it also tells teachers and parents how well I'm understanding the material in school. So try not to look at my scores to find out if I'm passing or not. That's not what it's for. This test looks at how I'm doing in different areas related to my college readiness. Just a heads up, my scores may seem lower than they were before, but that doesn't mean I've regressed. In fact, many scores across the country are coming in lower simply because we're pioneering a new test. And it's not even really comparable to the old test. Not to mention, we've been introduced to new materials this entire year. So, what's next? How do I improve? Well, first of all, it makes me feel really awesome when my parents are involved in my learning. You don't always have to help me with my homework because you may or may not remember how to do quadratic equations, but you can talk to my teachers for more information about my progress or maintain regular communication with my school. You can look at our district website for more resources and you can make sure I make it to school every day. Oops, did I say that? As I said earlier, I'm not really sure what I wanna be when I grow up, but I do know that I wanna be successful, healthy, and happy. So I definitely need your help. Studies show that parental involvement is one of the most important factors when it comes to my success. The new state standards bring students, parents, teachers, and technology together. So no matter what I decide to be or where I decide to go, I'll be ready for what comes my way.